Hello and welcome to the Game Dev Outpost. In this video, we're going to go over grid and snap settings in Unity. We'll talk about the basics of the grid, customizing the grid, and then we'll finish with talking about snaps. To turn the grid on and off, we need to come up to Gizmos, and then we need to click on Show Grid. The first thing to talk about are the metrics of the grid. In Unity, one grid unit is a meter, and this is important if you want to build something to real-world scale. For example, this cube right now is one unit by one unit, or one meter by one meter, but if we wanted to make a six foot tall man, it would look something like this. With this in perspective, it should give you a better sense for the grid space. Now you can't change the metrics of the grid, but there is one setting that you can change. You wanna come up to edit and down to preferences. And from here, if you go to colors and down to grid, you can change the color of your grid. Now I know this isn't the most remarkable feature, but it is here. Next, I wanna talk about snaps. So the way that we go into snap mode is by holding down control. When you release control, you'll be out of snap mode. Snap mode relates directly to our three transform modes, move, rotate, and scale. So when you hold down control on the keyboard and you move an object, you'll see by default, this cube will snap to the grid by one unit. Rotation and scale aren't really linked to the grid, but in rotation mode, it's measured by degrees. By default, this is set to 15 degrees. Scale mode is similar to transform, but by default, it's set to 0.1. Now, if you want to adjust the snap settings, you come up to edit and all the way down to the bottom are snap settings. From here, you can change the snap settings for each of the modes. Now, say that an object is slightly off the grid, you can use these bottom buttons to force them back onto the grid. This only works with moving the objects. All right, guys, in the next video, we're going to cover viewport display options. If this video was helpful, Please let me know by commenting down below and liking the video. Thanks guys.